Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to New York Farms 2. We are a corn, soybean, green bean, and apple farm in western New York. Um, just wanted to start a start a YouTube channel, show show what we do, show uh, why we do it, how we do it. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of really cool YouTube channels on uh, obviously on YouTube, but um, there's a lot of really cool channels. There's tons of stuff. I mean, there you could, there's a thousand farm channels. We're a little bit different than most of them, I think. You know, being that we have a little bit of vegetables and stuff, quite a few apples, so I think we can mix it up. And especially being from Western New York, it's going to be kind of different because you guys are everybody's so used to thinking that um, farming is done in the Midwest and you know, the, in New York State, everybody just thinks it's the city. We're about six, seven hours from the city, so we're quite, you know. Um, quite disconnected from the city. I've actually never been there. Um, so I just, you know, wanted to show showcase New York farming. Um, kind of see, you know, see how we do stuff different, see how we do stuff similar to, you know, maybe the Midwest. And I think there's a lot of things everybody. I think, you know, being if, you want, if you're a farmer, if you're not a farmer, you'll be able to take a lot from it. It's going to be cool. Um, it'll be interesting. There's going to be some uh, just fun tractors whatever shop stuff and then there's going to be some you know some in-depth as far as you know raising raising crops um, how we do things and, and whatnot um, so our farm was started in 1878 so we're pretty old pretty old farm it started right right in this area we still farm the same grounds there's um, actually three families that still farm separate entities but they, we all so it's kind of confusing around here because there's so there's a bunch of Kirby's that farm, but um, we're one of them. It's uh it's nice to have you know a big a farm growing up in a farming family is kind of cool. But anyway, so yeah, we're in Western New York. We're like between Rochester and Buffalo. Uh, like I said, we're we're pretty rural out here, um, pretty far away from the from the cities, but um, it's very very ag oriented around here. There's a lot of, really, the cool part about where we live, it's very diverse. There's anything, you know, we, there's tons and tons of vegetables. There's, there's apples, obviously, a lot of stone fruits, um, a lot of corn, soybeans. There's dairies. There's pretty much anything you can think of other than crazy citrus crops or anything like that, obviously. But, um, so, yeah, I'm just going to show up, you know, I, I shoot a lot. Of, I take a lot of pictures, shoot a lot of videos. I haven't really put them up on any sort of a platform at all before. I got a ton of stuff on my computer, um, so I'm just gonna do what I, I just gonna do kind of what I normally do. Try and do a little bit more videoing, and then um, kind of edit it. Give me, you know, this will give me a reason to, to, you know, take and edit it. I'm not gonna go crazy editing it. I'm just gonna uh, trim the trim the video or trim the videos and kind of um, really, you know, not do anything crazy. It's gonna be all one take. Just take a turn the camera on and go and then just you know edit for time and whatnot so it's going to be going to be nothing uh, crazy but i think it'll be cool just going to show you guys uh what we do and i think especially it's going to be uh, i'll probably throw some of my old i got a bunch of old stuff i'm probably going to just com compile a bunch of old stuff in this video you know kind of just stuff that i had on my computer just to kind of get the ball rolling and i got a couple things i'm a couple of projects i want to start that I'm going to throw on video, and then this spring will get really exciting. I'll, we'll have planning. We've got some apple trees going in. I'll get some planning video of that. Um, move the train. <clears throat> Just get a bunch of cool videos. Yeah, pretty much what we do. You're going to see what we're going to do. What we do every day, you know, and uh, it's going to be fun. I think you'll. I think it doesn't matter who you are. I think you'll get a lot out of it. And we'll see. We'll go from there. I'm going to really try. I'm gonna try. It's gonna be hard. Um, so I got I got three boys. Um, so it's gonna be really hard. They're really energetic, really crazy. I like to spend a lot of time with them as much as I you know, can. But so it's gonna be really hard to put videos out um, and edit them. I'm gonna try try my best to keep keep at it and not let it. You know, because it's tough. It's, it doesn't seem like it's much, but it's tough when it, um, it comes to actually getting them. Edit them all down and uh, putting them out there, you know, especially during plant season when we're focused primarily just on getting getting the crop planted and uh, and whatnot. It's just hectic. 
first first month, pretty much May is is uh, nonstop, 100% focused on planning or sleeping. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do that. So like I said, the first few videos, they're just gonna be a bunch of stuff that I uh, that I got on my computer. We'll go from there. So tell your friends and uh, hope you enjoy it. Got about 35 acres done. Um, so what we're doing, we're spreading fertilizer. The fertilizer we're spreading is potash, potassium, whatever you want to call it. It's actually it's K2O. It's potassium. It's the um, the trade name for this product. Um, it's a little bit wet out here. It's March. That's what we're used to out here in New York. It's being by the lake. It gets we see we get. I think around like 32 inches of rain per year, 30 to 32 inches of rain per season. So um, we're used to it. It's always it's always pretty moist out here in the fields um, until the summer, and we usually dry off, you know, around the middle of May. But um, so yeah, we're spreading this out here. We're spreading about 450 pounds per acre. Potassium does not move around in the soil well, so you can spread more potassium than your crop. We'll use this season so we're spreading 450 our corn crops probably going to use around 300 pounds um you know if it's a good year and it grows well so like i said it doesn't move in the soil it'll stay here we're trying to the reason we put 450 pounds is we're trying to build our soil base saturation k's up uh, especially on the ground that we own because it's it just it, it needs to be available to the crops and like I say, it will not go anywhere. Um, the only thing you have to worry about is runoff with uh, K, but uh, where we are, it's flat, and we'll work it in here, and it'll be in, incorporated with the soil. So the only way, you know, way it's going to run off is it's going to be um, it's going to be in found into the soil. So, but some of our crops, you know, it's going to some like our corn's going to use generally around 300 pounds of uh, K a year, and soybeans you know is pretty darn close with a good soybean crop but a few of our other crops won't use that much K but like I said it, it is in the soil and it'll stay in the soil for for many years and um, so we're just spreading spreading extra it's good you know it helps with stock strength on corn it, um, that's the main thing you know it helps helps with the grain and the stock strength when you start getting into higher higher population so that's what we're shooting for and that's the direction we're taking it's expensive but uh it's well worth it got to have good np and k nitrogen phosphorus and potassium um are the key nutrients you got to have those if you want to if you want to go good, grow good crops you just got to have those three uh your ph is also very important um so that's just, an, you know, you gotta you gotta start there. You can't, you know, grow great crops without having those four key things in your farm. So that's just a little overview on what we're doing today. There, my window's getting a little dirty there, but anyway, we're in a nice field here, right south of our farm. It's about a hundred and it's about a hundred acres. So nice long rows. Get a lot done. fertilizer we're uh, done we're done for now um thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe tell your friends 
see you later.